I'm Kayla Tange, and my pieces are The Rise and Fall of Decadence, and it's part of We Both Enjoy the Same Fruit series. My other piece is called Adapted Intentions. The Adapted Intentions uh, really started as an inspiration from a Japanese Zen gardens, and I was also thinking about Tibetan sand mandalas and this idea of letting go and uh, intergenerational play was really important. It's, it's actually been one of the great joys to witness in this piece to see, you know, grandparents and parents and then the grandchildren all playing together is, it's, it's something that I imagined, but when I actually saw it happen, it was, yeah, it was really, really fulfilling. The first time I did it, uh, people literally wrote intentions. You know, some people wrote things like peace, uh, protection, friendship, and I thought that was really powerful to physically write something in the sand and then just to see it and to let it go. Other people wrote their names in Korean. Uh, some people drew uh, intentions. There's been, you know, homes drawn in it, various things that, you know, people were hoping for in their future lives or, or future careers. And I, I just thought that was really good to have have wishes and desires. And I, I think it's kind of cool to see a stranger across from you also has some of the same intentions. So that was, um, that was cool. It was, it was really great to see strangers having conversations. It's definitely about communicating, like many people working through trauma, but I think for me, the healing part is um, creating pieces that uh, create conversations with other people uh, between myself and the viewers or you know strangers. So I, I think for me that to have these ongoing conversations has been the most healing part of my practice.